Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura. This past weekend, I went back to the Sandpiper. Yes, you heard me correctly. I had my husband take me back to Michigan because I loved that store so much, I had to go back. So the reason behind this really is, is my shoulder is still kind of aggravating me a little bit if I crochet too much. So I think I'm just gonna kind of lay low with that just for a little bit longer and let the inflammation go down because now my left shoulder is starting to bother me and my right one is getting better, but I don't wanna aggravate things. So I purchased a wooden frame loom a while back and I hadn't really used it or tried anything with it, but then I was thinking it might be pretty fun to try and make some wall hangings with it. So I started watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and I started making a wall hanging and I will show you what that looks like right here. And then I will be back to show you what I got from the Sandpiper. These are the yarns that I'll be using for this wall hanging that I'm making. Now I bought this loom, it's a Melissa and Doug children's loom, but I figured just for beginning, I would try it out and I've been watching some videos and I'm learning how to do some of these stitches. This is just regular over and under weaving, which they call tabby weaving. And then these are raya knots. So I know how to do those. And I wanted to add some more black. And then I wanted to use this, which this is like a roving, but it has some threads twisted around it. And um, it's like a wool fleece. So I wanted to do some kind of a braided stitch and do some different stripes and then use these two colors again. So that's what I've been working on. This is pretty much just practicing and getting familiar with the different techniques, but I bought some things this weekend and I wanted to show you what I got and show you what I have put together for my next wall hanging. So let's check it out. So here are some of the fibers that I will be using on my next wall hanging. Now you may remember I was at the Sandpiper last weekend and um, they gave me a tour of Hoof to Hanger. And I'll go ahead and link a video to that up above. But this is um, some of the yarn that I got when I was at my trip last weekend. And I really liked the way all the different textures of these yarns looked together and they all matched this. This was my inspiration. And this is a vintage uh, skein of yarn that I got from a friend whose mother passed away. And this one too, like, look at the label on this. This is Cotton Terry Comfortable Fashion Cotton. Look at this. So this will make a nice little texture. And then I've got just your regular kitchen cotton. And then we've got some of this, like homespun kind of yarn. And then we also have like the wool ease here. Not exactly sure what beads I'm going to put on. Now let me show you the star of the show, the alpaca roving that I bought from the Sandpiper. So here is a bag of nine balls of Roving Naturals mixed fiber reclaimed alpaca wool roving. Now, if you take a look, all of these have different shades, like there's a brown with a white and, and gray, and that looks like a dark gray with black and white and dark brown and white. These are just absolutely gorgeous. And I will also link Hoof to Hanger and the Sandpiper down below. They do have an online store if you're interested in getting any wool roving. If you like to spin your own yarns, they have uh, painted roving and they have a huge selection of just beautiful hand spun yarns. I do give you a whole tour of the yarn processing mill in that video. So I'll go ahead and make sure that that's linked as well. So let me open up this bag and let you see exactly how beautiful this really is. Oh, it's so soft. This roving is so gorgeous. So when you do a weaving project, you just rip off little bits and pieces of this, and then you just fit it into your project and it makes it real soft and fluffy. And this is just so gorgeous. Oh, I could just squeeze it. I love it so much. And I love that there's so many different colors. You could really match these with any palette. Isn't this gorgeous? They do have a nice selection of these naturals and they also have a lot of beautiful painted ones that are just so pretty and colorful. When I was there yesterday, Anna showed me a whole skein of the painted alpaca roving and then she showed me what it looked like once it was spun up into yarn. And the difference 
it, I mean, it, they looked completely different, of course, but it's so neat to see it go from one form to another form. It's just very interesting. If you ever get a chance to go there, just make sure you check it out in Bridgman, Michigan. And let me just show you one more of these little balls. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at the different tones of brown and then the white, and it's so soft. I bet you if my cat Wendy saw this, she would go crazy. I should make her a little cat toy with one and see what she does. Poor Wendy, she's very lonely now since Winston passed away. So we lost our kitty last Monday. So it's been really hard on us, but we're getting through. We miss him a whole lot. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you check out uh, the sandpiper.biz. And I hope you check out my other weaving videos as they come along. I can't wait to um, check out another craft that uses yarn and fibers. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please hit the subscription button and the notification bell. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Check it out. I have a new Patreon tier for only $2 a month. Go to patreon.com slash crojo corner. If you have trouble sleeping, check out my new channel, Soul Candy Cafe. Rain sounds and meditation music to help you sleep.